Arabic science class for JSS1, we're going to talk about environmental pollution. The environment is simply our surrounding. And environmental pollution is the release of harmful or toxic substances into the environment. The environment is made up of two parts. We have the biotic, which are the living parts of the environment, like plants and animals. Then we have the abiotic, or the non-living, which includes temperature, light, uh, humidity, soil, and so on and so forth. There are three main types of environmental pollution, and they are air pollution, water pollution, and soil pollution. Now about air pollution. Air is actually a mixture of gases. And air pollution is the release of harmful or toxic substances into the atmosphere or air. Now, this air pollutants could include uh, smoke, fines and particles, dust, pollen grains, exposed sewage, and some of the major gaseous air pollutants include carbon two oxide, which are called carbon monoxide, carbon four oxide, which are called carbon dioxide, sulfur four oxide, sulfur six oxide, nitrogen two oxide, chlorofluorocarbons, which are actually compounds containing fluorine, fluorine and carbon. Then we have ammonia from cane and like matter. These are found mostly as refuse dump sites or as sewages. Then, when air is polluted, it tends to exhibit the following characters: be dusty, impure, contain these causing germs which are called pathogens, it will have bad odor, it contains both solid and gaseous particles. It may also have suffocating uh, effect on the organisms that inhale such polluted air. Now, effects of air pollution: one, it can cause damage to the respiratory system leading to health problems such as bronchitis and asthma. Polluted air can cause eyes, nose and throat irritation. Gaseous hydrocarbons which are released can cause cancer. Polluted air will also reduce growth rates, stop cell division and cause deformities in newborn, newborn babies. Lead poisoning which can be gotten when you use a lead infused fuel will also lead to injury in the nervous system. Then let's talk about ways of controlling air pollution. First, avoid overcrowding. Second, waste should be treated properly and be made harmless before they are disposed. Next, people should be encouraged to walk more and reduce the use of vehicles, which most of the time lead to this environmental or air pollution. Then government should use strict laws to control and monitor both individual and industries for against air pollution or environmental pollution generally. Thank you.